I'd like to thank you all for allowing me to speak today. It is truly an honor and a privilege. <clears throat> Four score and seven years ago, <laughs> when President Jim was in college, <laughs> I wonder if he had that luscious beard. <laughs> Many men have strived to grow a beard on that level. But I'm not sure that crazy patch of finely grown manliness can ever be matched. <laughs> I'm going to miss that beard. <laughs> As graduation approaches, we might think of everything we'll miss about the past four years. The good stories, sporting events, accomplishments, professors that go out of their way for you. Late nights, playing pranks, snowball fights at midnight, parties, meeting new people. I'm sure at some point we will even miss cramming the night before an exam, accidentally puking all over the bathroom, <laughs> and other various exotic smells coming from the Austin Picket bathrooms like kiwi, pumpkin, and those little blue cooked fruit. We might even miss those cold mornings walking to class and slipping on a piece of ice only to try to play it off as a dance move. I know I'm not the only one. We all have memories good and bad. I hope these memories have shaped and molded us along the way to doing bigger, better, and more significant things. We have all heard that college is the best four years of your life. Isn't that depressing? It's like saying, since the best part of my life is over, I guess I'll go get a job in the real world so I can pay taxes, retire, and die. <laughs> Early on, I could not understand. I thought, why not just stay down? Maybe something would be different. If she just stayed down. But 
as I reflected on this thought, I began to realize the utter importance of her decision to get back up. If she'd stayed down, she would have let fear win. The decision to get back up was ingrained. It was part of her. She had no fear. I persevered. She got back up. I just hope we'll all be wise enough to get back up in our own lives. Because I promise you, there will be times in this life in which we will fall. Relationships will be broken. Jobs will be lost. Payments will be made. Family members will be canceled. Health will diminish. But how we choose to respond will be the only control we have in that fall. Everyday life keeps you. Should it? What really matters? Have you ever woken up from a dream so great you couldn't wait to tell your friends about it? Sometimes, if you wait too long, you can't remember that dream. That's how life is. If you wait too long to follow your dream, you will lose it. As time passes, our dreams are getting faster, we are getting more out of shape, and our dreams are getting out of reach. I'm not asking you to follow your dreams. That's easy. I follow the news. You probably follow hundreds of things on Twitter. I'm challenging you to chase your dreams before you decide of them. Chasing them off an active desire. There is no room for fear. Do not be afraid. Do not be a follower. Do not blend in. Take risks. Go in debt. Be irrational. Find your passion. I'm not talking about getting that car you've always wanted or the house with nine bathrooms. <laughs> I'm not even talking about finding a dream job. I've heard, find a job you love and you'll never work a day in your life. That sounds great, but kind of selfish. Life isn't all about you, it's about the people you interact with. Give away your stuff, travel the world, get involved, go fishing, procrastinate, take a walk, pay for a stranger's meal, tell someone about Jesus, sit on a porch and talk about nothing. Make a difference, build a car, reach for an antique. You can live your dream, you are living your dream. It's not about the things you do, it's about the people you do things with that create moments. Moments are life. <laughs> College should not be our defined moment in life, but rather a stepping stone towards fulfilling our purpose that God has created us for. I feel it imperative to tell you to look around sitting next to you and always remember where you're from because it, because it is the groundwork for who you will become. This is why I have you all be in the same room together, connected by one to college. Imprint this memory into your heart and mind and remember when it's all said and done, the difference we make in the lives of others is what truly counts. Material possessions, status, and salary will fade away and we will only be remembered for the legacy we leave behind. Be content, but never satisfied, but always get back up. Thank you.